a database full of contact records, you're going to want to find ways to organize them sensibly. The most obvious way is to create company records for those contacts who are coworkers with one another. So in this video, I want to show you a couple different ways to create a company in ACT. The most obvious way is to go to the Companies button in the left navigation, and then once that loads, at the top, click the New button to create a new company. Now all you have to do is enter that company's information. Once you've entered as much information as you can, click the Save button at the top of the screen. And that's all there is to it. Now all you have to do is add contacts to this company. You can also create a company directly from a contact record. To do this, let's go to our contacts area, and we're going to look at this record for Rob Boss. Now, even though there's nothing in the company field, I know that he works for Roses by the Stairs Brewery. So I'm going to save that to his company field. While still looking at the detail view for this contact record, I'm going to go to the Contacts menu at the top, and then at the very bottom, I'm going to click Create Company from Contact. This takes us into the Companies area of ACT and creates the company record for us. Notice that the company record also automatically copied some of the data from the contact record. You can change this manually if it doesn't apply, but the company record has been created, and on the Contacts tab, we can see that Rob Boss has already been added as a contact to this company. There's still another way to create companies in ACT. In this method, we're going to tell ACT to automatically create a company record for us whenever we have multiple contacts with the same company name in the company field. Here's how to set this up. I'm going to go to my Tools menu at the top and choose Preferences. Now let's go to the Admin tab and down below, locate the Companies area and click the Company Preferences button. Now pay attention to the Company Creation section of this screen. This field tells ACT to automatically create a company record whenever a specific number of contacts have the same company name. I currently have this set to zero, which means that ACT will never create any company records automatically. But I'm going to change this to two. And now let's see how this works. I'm going to click OK, I'll click Yes, and OK one more time, and now I'm going to go to my contacts area again, and I'm going to look up one of my contacts named Robert Barker. From here I need to make a note of his company name. It's called Crosscut Brewery. With that in mind, I'm going to create a second contact. This is going to be for Robert Eubanks. And now I'm not going to enter anything in the company name or anywhere else. I'm just going to click Save. Okay, now here's where the magic of automatic company creation takes place. For the company field, if I enter Crosscut Brewery and I click Save, ACT will now create a company record for Crosscut Brewery and it will link Robert to that company. If I go to my company's area now, and I look up Crosscut Brewery. I can see now that ACT has automatically created the record for me and has linked both Robert Barker and Robert Eubanks to this company.